Mario 64's BLJ, probably the most infamous glitch or infamous trick known out there, I thought it would be kind of fun to go ahead and try to do BLJs with a bunch of stupid controllers. Now, I was actually inspired by Tetrabit Gaming because he does a bunch of Mario 64 challenges where he tries to beat the game with some dumb controller, so I thought, what the heck, let's just focus on the BLJs. And I've got 15 right here, and uh, this ought to be fun. We'll see. I feel like a lot of these are not going to be successful, but I still want to see what we can do. So I figured we go ahead and start with the basics, the good old NES controller. I don't think we'll have too much trouble with this one, but it's still going to be a little weird. All right, so onto our first controller. We have just the basic NES. Uh, movement for NES controller, obviously D-pad. Uh, up, right, down, left. To move around. A is jump button, jump button, and B is Z. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna have any issues with this one, but let's see how we go. Oh my god! Oh wow! Okay, so this one I can probably do, but it is very hard to mash <laughs> with the middle finger. So what I might do is like something like this. I don't know if that's gonna work. It's very hard to mash though. Come on! Come on! Come on! Ugh, <laughs> I just couldn't get it. Ah. Uh, See, what's, what's difficult is I need to keep holding B. You know what I might try? I might actually map Z to the select button. That way I'll have a bit more time to mash A. I think I'm going to try that. Oh! Oh, there we go! There we go! All right. Well, okay. I'm. <laughs> that was actually a lot more uncomfortable, so I'm surprised I was able to get that. But hey, there we go. And next up is the TurboTouch 360. It's basically an NES controller, but the D-pad is completely touchscreen. So while I do think it's going to be possible, I think it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but let's see. So this one's going to be interesting. I don't know if this touchpad is... Oh, geez. Okay, so I'll say this. The touchpad, it's kind of sending me to the left when I don't want it to. I'm not sure why. I am going to go ahead and uh, try the select button for Z again, and we're just going to go with A to mash. See if it gives me a bit more room to mash A faster. Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, my God. That's very uncomfortable. These buttons are a lot stickier uh, than the NES buttons. So it's harder because, like, basically, when I'm pushing A really fast, I have to move my finger farther up than with an NES button, and that makes it kind of difficult. Why are you... No, that's the wrong way, Mario. What are you doing? <laughs> yes? Come on. Come on. Come on. Just get some speed. Oh, my... Ah, it's so difficult. There we go. There we go. What? No, that was it. Oh, that was it. Yes, yes, there we go. Oh, my God. I actually threw the wall on that one. Up next is one of my favorite controllers of all time, the GameCube keyboard controller. Now, I know this one isn't going to be that challenging, but I just love the novelty of this even existing to begin with which is the main reason why we're going to go ahead and give it a shot. So I can't imagine this controller is going to be that bad. Uh, we got joystick for movement. We've got A to jump. And then we have shoulder button to crouch. And that's pretty much all we need for a BLJ. I'm going to go ahead and just say this. If I get this BLJ on the first try, everyone watching, that means you, has to go to crowdmade.com slash NathanielBandy and check out the new Striving for Originality merch, all right? All right, you got to do it. Well, I just won the bet. You guys lost the bet. Now you have to check it out. So, yeah, I didn't think this controller would be that hard, but there we go. That was really fun to do that with a, with this one. This one is ridiculous. The NES Zoomer. Literally a flight stick. Now, what's actually kind of interesting about this flight stick is you can, like, push it up and down to move up and down. So I'm not sure if I'll actually be tilting this to move Mario up and down or if I'll be pushing and pulling. I haven't decided yet, but uh, I think this one is going to suck. I gotta say, guys, I think I'm in trouble now. Um, I can actually use this thing. <laughs> it actually works. Uh, I've got the buttons working. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I think the hardest part of this is going to basically be able to hold forward while also mashing this. Because this thing does not move up and down very much, and it's, like all the other NES stuff, it's very, very stiff. So, I think this one is gonna suck, but here goes nothing. Come on. Oh, my God. Yeah, the hardest part is just getting it started for sure. Oh, there we go. That was good. Come on. Come on. Ugh. I am mashing. No, that was it. That was the one. Like, this hurts your hands, too. I feel like you need to crack my knuckles. Ah, it's so hard to mash. 
something else you probably don't notice is that this button actually takes um, it takes a lot of effort just to push one time. It feels very much like a, like a pressure trigger on a GameCube controller where you really have to push down a lot. This is not a fast pushing button. Like, you really got to get in there to go fast. No! God, I keep getting so close. Ugh, it's like it is... I can't express enough how hard it is to push forward with just one hand. Like, I can't really do it. I have to use my stomach to help. Yes. Come on! No! I lost my speed! Go fast! No! <laughs> come on, you guys! Come on, that was a good attempt. I don't even know what I'm doing. I just gotta go forward, dude. Just go forward! <laughs> I come on! <laughs> Yes! Yes! There we go! Okay, that was the strategy. And up next is the NES Ultimate Super Stick. I guess this is uh, one of the two arcade sticks that we're using. And this, again, has a really bad joystick. The buttons are okay, but the joystick, I think, is going to make this really hard. This one I'm a little worried about. Um, this joystick, I've, I've messed around with it a little bit. It is very, very stiff. Uh, I've got A button map to jump, and then the B button map to Z. Kind of par usual for the NES stuff. Well, I don't know how this one's going to go. Oh, it's really hard to mash. It's hard to get a good angle, too. Oh my god, going, this, this, this joystick is so bad. It's really bad. Ah. You know what else is really hard is that I, I, my hand keeps hitting the other side, and I think that's messing me up. So I have to, like, keep it up like this. Like, this somehow controls worse than the freaking flight stick. That doesn't even make sense. Yes! Yes! What? No! Oh, but what? What? You? Oh, come on! I got stuck on collision! My poor left hand. Oh, God. My hand is, like, in so much pain right now. I'm gonna have to take a break from controllers after this session because, my God. No! I was getting it again! There is, like, no... This controller is garbage. There's no comfortable way to hold this stupid joystick. <laughs> Come on, dude! If this angle works, I swear. Come on. Please get it. My hand hurts. I can't... Oh, my God. Okay, you know what? Well, even though I didn't get to the top... That one BLJ that went super fast, I literally was like in a second from getting it. So I'm going to count that I... Okay, you know, how about this is a half count? All right, I half did this. And for our next controller, we've got the Quick Shot Flight Grip 2. This ought to be an interesting one. This dumb boomerang thing, I don't think it's going to be as bad. So we've got the D-pad for movement. We've got this big button for jumping. It's actually not very responsive. That could be really bad. And then we have this back button for crouching. So it's just barely enough buttons. It might... Okay, I think if I hold this to my stomach, it's going to make this a little bit easier. Okay, I, th I think I could probably do this. It's going to take some tries, though. Oh, wow, that was close. That was really close. <sighs> well, not right now. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. Wow, that was way faster than I thought we would. Moving on, we have the Quick Shot Trackball. And uh, this controller is kind of a piece of crap. I have no idea if we've got any luck with this one, but... All right, guys, so I'm currently setting up this Quick Shot, and I believe you're supposed to hold it sideways like this. But let's take a look at these inputs and see how accurate they are. So I'm going to go ahead and push up. Or, excuse me, it's supposed to be holding this way. Pushing... I don't even... I actually... Okay, never mind. I don't know which way you're supposed to hold this stupid thing. And when I push up this way, it goes upright, this way goes down, and then down goes left, and then left does nothing. There's no response at all. So basically, I have three inputs to work with, and um, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but like, it doesn't work very well. Now, since I don't really have a way of pushing up, I think that's going to make this impossible, just simply because obviously I need to be able to hold up to do the BLJ. And if uh, this quick shot is so broken that that doesn't want to work, then this is kind of a problem. There we go. I did a long jump. I mean, that was impressive for something this crappy. All right, guys, I'm just going to say it. This controller is too broken to work. Next up 
the Rollin' Rocker. Now, I think this is going to be a lot of fun, quite frankly. I love how ridiculous this thing is. Mine does actually work pretty well, too, so let's give it a shot. Here we go, Rollin' Rocker. We'll go ahead and stand on it. Now, the funny thing about this Rollin' Rocker is it does actually work pretty well with NES games. Oh my god, guys. Okay, so what I did to make this work, this is insane. I have player one with the one adapter mapped to the Rollin' Rock, and player two is mapped to the NES so I can actually use the controls. So I'm actually technically playing two players with, with, with like one adapter. I can't believe that worked. Okay, this is incredibly hard to control. Oh my god, come on, Mario. No, don't go down the steps. What are you doing? Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. We're on stairs. Now we got to go back. If I can... Okay, here's the thing. If I can somehow do a long jump and then mash fast enough, there is a tiny chance I could get this. Come on, man. All right. Uh, sorry, guys. I can't even attempt a long jump with this controller. It's uh, it's weird because, like, like I said, it actually works pretty well on my NES, but... This is just not working at all, so unfortunately, I don't think you can... I mean, maybe if you have, like, a perfect condition rolling rocker, you could maybe get it to work, but it's pretty unlikely. I mean, even so, it would be insanely difficult. Our next controller is the Ultra Racer 64. We've got this little uh, wheel that we can use to go up and down. That's what I'll be attempting. And I think this one is going to be horrible, but uh, let's find out. So I've got a little bit of a dilemma with this controller. If you check out these inputs, this is supposed to move in two different directions. But when I move it counterclockwise, it doesn't really move at all. All it does is move in one direction. So what I did to try to compensate was to move forward, I have to twist. Uh, to move left, right, and down, I just use these buttons. The Z button is back here, and the A button is this top green one. So even though I'm not fully utilizing this wheel, it's still going to be absolutely obnoxious to try to control, which I think is the point, right? Oh god. Oh, then I have to mash. How am I gonna mash? How am I gonna mash like this? Bruh, this is so hard to wrap my brain around. Oh, it's gonna be really hard to mash fast because like I'm I have to occupy both of my hands one to this and then one to the wheel unless I kind of do this this might actually work Okay, oh, I was kind of getting it. It's really hard to get a grip though Ah, uh, yeah, I, I like I cannot push Z and A at the same time. I like I've been having problems with this other controllers It's the same kind of thing here Oh, great. Now the down button isn't working. I hate this game. Okay, you know what? I've been fiddling with this controller for a while now, and I give up on it. I mean, I think you probably could do it, but, like, I didn't even get close with a BLJ. Up next, probably the hardest controller we'll be attempting today, the N64 Power Glove. Just putting this thing on is painful. Actually using it is a totally different story. I think this is going to be really bad, but <laughs> here we go. So, um, one good thing to note about this controller is it feel, feels like I'm taking an MRI exam putting it on. Gotta have straps on the bottom, straps on the top. Uh, my buttons is this C button is jumping, this one's Z, and uh, there's actually, this is very different from the NES Power Glove because it actually all works through the one cable. Um, I move up like this, and then to go down I move to the right because moving down normally on this controller doesn't actually work. Uh, I can't even, come on, move down, please. This controller, I feel like I'm not gonna be able to do, but I do want to give it a fair shot. Ah, no, I lost too much speed. I don't know. I, I just don't think I'm gonna be able to mash fast enough. So one thing that is actually interesting about this controller is it was actually created for people um, that only have one hand, so I guess if you only did have one hand, this isn't the worst controller ever. Uh, but even so, like, it's just so uncomfortable. I feel like there would have, there would be better, you know, better things you could make. Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was an insane BLJ! Oh my god. I can't believe I just did that. Our next one is the SNES Score Master. I think this is going to be really hard to do, but let's see what we can pull off. All right, so we've kind of already done a controller like this. Uh, basically, I've got joystick mapped out for movement. Again, select for crouch. And then this big yellow button for jumping. 
And um, I know we used a similar method where basically I held my hand, or I used my fingers um, this way, but I think since this joystick's a lot shorter, I'll just be able to push down and hold select so I can mash with one hand, and I think that's going to do the trick. Hey! Oh, that was close! Oh, that was so close. Oh, no! That was it! Oh, we made it! Oh, wow, we actually made it, okay. Up next is the SNES mouse. Now, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to make this work because there is two inputs right here, but I don't know if uh, I'm going to be able to use the movement on the bottom. I don't know if that's going to work or not, but we'll see. As I was kind of worrying about, I did not find a way to be able to control movement with the mouse. I went into the input settings, and all I was able to map was the jump button and crouch. So I can do some backflips. I can do a, a ground pound with the mouse. But unfortunately, I can't do anything more than that. With that said, though, I do actually have um, a normal mouse that we can use where we actually can kind of move around with Mario. At least so I think. What I'll be using instead is what is called a Lexip Gaming Mouse. For movement, I'm going to be using this little wheel thing. Moving forward moves me up, and then going down moves me down. So I have left click mapped to jumping, and then the right click mapped to the crouch button. So theoretically, I should be able to do a long jump like this. I don't know if it's going to happen. We'll, <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. It's very, very hard to spam. Oh! Maybe? Maybe? Hmm, okay, maybe, maybe. The double mouse click! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, that ki oh my god, that's really tiring. What? Was that enough? Was that enough? Was that enough? Oh, come on! That was almost enough speed. I mean, that was enough speed. Okay, there we go. That's a good angle. There we go! Oh, I almost landed right in. What the heck, why not? We're topping the Bowser's Bowser in the sky. Here's the one I'm most interested in trying, the NES Power Glove. I think there's ways to get this sucker hooked up to a computer. I don't know for certain, but uh, we'll see what we can do. I'd rather not resort to using the buttons because that'd be pretty lame. I want to actually use the fingers to move. What's interesting about the Power Glove is you actually can get this thing to work on your computer, even with all the additional attachments and all the sensors you have to put up and everything. Uh, the problem is, it's choosing not to work. You know, as you can see, you know, I'm getting uh, the buttons to line up, and uh, it seems like everything is on and working properly, but for some reason, I cannot get it to connect with Dolphin. So, since I wasn't able to even really attempt the NES Power Glove, I felt like I'd make it up to you guys by uh, busting out another controller. This is the SNES ASCII controller, and um, this one is uh, bizarre because it's just a circle. <laughs> There's a few buttons on the back, a few on the front. So what I'll be doing is using this for movement, the select button to crouch, and then the A button to jump. So now you might be wondering, why am I not using this button for crouching instead? Well, it's actually really broken on this particular controller. Uh, basically, it like always self-presses when it's not supposed to, so I can't really use it. So now I'm forced to use this tiny select button. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, well, there we go. That was first try. I guess I'll take that. I, I wasn't expecting this one to be that quick, but there we go. Definitely an interesting controller. Do I need to say more? DK bongos. Now, for these bongos, they were very annoying to get hooked up, but after lots of trial and error and after lots of technical difficulties, I finally got these things figured out. Basically, the way bongos work is there's four different inputs, two on each pad, and then, of course, there is the start button here. Oh, uh, this is this. I feel like this is gonna be one of the harder ones just because it's really hard while I'm doing the BLJ mashing a I also have to hold Z and I have to hold up at the same time. It's gonna be a pain in the butt Ah, uh, Okay, hold on. I was kind of getting it there Yes, yes, there we go Whew. Whew, Okay, that happened way faster than I thought it would but there you go. You can actually 
um, do a BLJ with bongos. Now, before moving on to our final controller, I do want to give a big shout out to Tetravit Gaming because he's actually going to be playing the entire game with DK bongos. So whenever that video is up or if it's up right now, make sure to go watch it. I have a link in the description and also go to the card to go check that out because I believe he's going to have a double bongo setup and he's going to try to beat the entire game. So make sure to check that out, but let's move on to our final controller. Next, we've got a controller I can't even fit on the whole screen is the GameCube DDR pad. This one will be able to get a long jump knocked out. My issue is actually moving up the stairs and hitting A fast enough. I think this one is gonna be very, very challenging. Probably not even possible, but let's see what we can do. This is probably gonna be, I feel like the hardest challenge to do because I kind of have to do this with my hands without fast I have to mash A. So the buttons is you have the up pad, which moves us up, right, which moves us down. And we're doing that just because it's easier to reach than going all the way back here. And then we have the B button mapped to A and the A button mapped to Z. Okay, I did a long jump, but that's when I realized I'm, I'm supposed to be holding this and this while mashing A. I don't know how that's going to work. Oh my god! I can't believe it! It worked! It actually worked! Wow. I, I honestly thought this was going to take way longer. That was insane. And there you have it, guys. There's 15, or I guess kind of 16 controllers. Um, yeah, this was a really weird video to do. It's something a little different. It took a long time to make. As you can see, I now have a different haircut. It's been about a week since I started this project. Uh, you had to use multiple computers because this one decided to just not work when I was trying to get certain things to happen. But uh, if this video does really well, maybe I'll make another one with even more controllers. Just let me know if you enjoyed it. And that's about all I got for you guys. So stay safe and I think that's about it. I'll see you later.